call this meeting of the Blair Planning Commission to order. We have a quorum present. First thing on the agenda, we have a public hearing for November the 24th, 2009. Planning Commission Soot Resolution 2902. Subdivision regulations regarding assurance and completion, maintenance and improvements of subdivisions. Grant. Uh, yes, sir. This is the uh, the item we were looking at uh, in order to make subdivision acceptance uh, more streamlined and uh, make it a, an easier process in regards to the sidewalk improvements that uh, that are required. Anybody here would like to speak on this subject? No one here. Approval carried. Old business site plan Rock Springs Church. Rock Springs Church on Burntwood Drive. Mr. Grant. Uh, this item uh, would be contingent on getting the uh, final plat approved. Uh, so it should be moved down to uh, pass number four on the agenda. Oh, okay. Next on it is Rezoning request for properties located at 114-120 Glendale Drive. Yes, sir. This is the rezoning request for the, the two lots located on uh, Glendale Drive, uh, 120 and 114. Um, this is the, the drawing showing the, the two lots. This was the, the original lot that was part of the request. Uh, this has also been added to that, so um, it does meet the, the 15,000 square foot uh, requirement for a multifamily unit, which is uh, what they are looking at building what, if approved. So the zoning map showing the surrounding zoning. Uh, they wish to, they're looking at rezoning this to R3, which is high density residential. Uh, there's a lot of surrounding C2 is located just off of Murfreesboro Road. Um, the neighborhood in the rear is R1. Um, so there, there is no immediately, no R3 immediately surrounding that area. Uh, however, we do have areas located off of Murfreesboro Road on the north side that are zoned R3. The aerial. And uh, here's some pictures of that, the current uh, houses on the, that are part of the rezoning request, which is 120. And 114. There's one more, yeah. In the workshop, it was a question brought up by one of the commission uh, about spot zoning. If I can get Evan to speak a little bit about spot zoning. Uh, I know most of the classes and stuff that I took over the few years, there's, there's, there's really no such thing as spot zoning. Well, the, the, the fact of the matter is it's not spot zoning until a court confirms it's spot zoning. It, a lawsuit filed by someone who's disappointed with what the zoning is. Spot zoning is a term that if you use, use generally speaking, and it's a technical term, but if you take the general meaning of it, it means that the zoning that's applied to a particular parcel is out of character with the zoning in the surrounding area, okay? Now, that's a pretty broad statement. And beyond that, I can't really go much more specific because that's really y'all's determination to make in terms of whether or not you think the proposed zoning is one that fits with the zoning in the surrounding area. For, for instance, a, a clear case, what, what I would call a clear case of spot zoning would be putting an I-3 and smack dab in the middle of R-1. I mean, that's a no-brainer. But when you get in areas where it's kind of mixed around, then it becomes harder to tell. So if we go back to the map, we got C-2, then we got R-1 behind it. Is that correct? 
Yes, sir. There's uh, C2 to the north and to the sides. Uh, I think they're, these are currently being used as residential houses, but the zoning is C2. Um, and then those are all currently C2. And then some R1 and then one R, R2 tract to the south. Who yes, sir. One uh, one item to to also look at is uh, whether or not the the area is a an area for redevelopment. Um, it is a area right off of Murfreesboro Road that that does have some potential for uh, redevelopment and uh, uh, which has different have different things to look at. Uh, whether or not it increases the property value, um, that sort of thing. It, it's a uh, number of issues to look at with the R3 zoning. How many feet from this property is it to Murfreesboro Road? I know the master plan, 200 foot off of Murfreesboro Road uh, is, is commercial. Is this further back than 200 foot? I think it is. Um, Let's see, I don't know if I've got the that's shown on the plan or not. Um, looks like there's about 134 foot uh, from this point to this point. So, judging by just that distance, it actually probably isn't 200 feet because um, it looks like it's. Approximately, I was thinking the lot between this lot and the highway was about 250 foot. It's got that uh, commercial building. I was thinking it, it was about 200 foot. Feet short. Yeah, that's a pretty long building. And then you got the parking lot. I'd say it's probably over 250 foot from the property line to the highway. Looks like it might might be 250, 300 foot. Grant, just to help me with information, uh, R three is duplexes or could be. It it does allow a number of different uses uh, it does allow single family but it also allows duplexes or multifamily units as well multi being like a row row house or something yes, sir. like that yeah like a, a town home that sort of thing let me share my make a recommendation for unfavorable recommendation now we go I'll, I'll second. Have an unfavorable recommendation and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. No. Aye. No. Do a roll call vote, please. No. Yes. Aye. No. Aye. No. Aye. What did it end up, Bruce? It's four to three in favor of. Of the unfavorable recommendation, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. I, I did. I, I said I. I mean, I said no for no unfavorable. I want an unfavorable. So, so, so you you you, you vote you for the to, yeah, vote for the unfavorable recommendation. Yes, I'm I'm voting okay. for the recommendation. Good, Bruce. <laughs> Five to two. Five to two. You have to be careful. Mate. Proposal to the affirmative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Resolution to amend Article Five of the Subdivision Regulation. Grant. Uh, yes, sir, Chairman. This is uh, what we had the public hearing on before. Uh, this just. Uh, uh, takes care of the, the sidewalk issues with uh, subdivision, subdivision acceptance, uh, puts the uh, requirement on the uh, builder and uh, makes it easier for the developer to get the subdivision accepted 
um, just based on our, our current regs, it's uh, uh, some issues aren't addressed, and this uh, fixes those. Mr. Chairman, we discussed the workshop. It's been through the uh, public hearing this evening. We discussed it uh, several times, and I'm going to make a uh, motion to approve the resolution 2009-02. I have a motion to approve. Dear Ayer, second. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carried. <coughs> Go down to number four, Rock Springs Church. Burntwood Drive. Rich Grant. Thank you, Chairman. This is the site plan for, uh, actually, I'm sorry, this is the final plat for Rock Springs Church. Uh, this is a division uh, into two lots. Um, I'm just showing the, uh, this is actually showing the site plan on here. Um, but the, your all's final plats at your desk show the, the two lot split. They are showing the 30 foot right of way dedication uh, that's required for a major thoroughfare plan and a sidewalk easement along the, the corner there. Anyone here represented in the church? Once again, uh, with uh, requesting the minor subdivision plat. Anyone have any questions? Any more? Yes, sir. Let me make a motion to accept the final plat submitted. Motion's been made to accept the final plat. Do I hear a second? Second. Have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. No. Oh, who said no? I said no. no. Oh, you said no? Okay. okay. Roll call. Aye. 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 No. Aye. 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 Now we're back to the site. Go back to those uh, site plan for this, uh, which is number one. Basically, they've also uh, taken care of all our, our workshop items that that we looked at. Um, this is uh, showing the, the sidewalks on Bartwood and Vineyard, uh, doing the Fee and Lou on Blair, and they have taken care of all the, the items that we had on our board. They're going to build a sidewalk all around Burntwood. <coughs> For lot, this lot that they're building? They'll start right there and come around. Yeah. So there's going to be a section there that's not connected. Is that what we're saying? Right. And on the plat, they did add the note well, addressing the sidewalks. So uh, whenever that lot's built on, there will have to be sidewalks on Burntwood to connect those two, that empty area. We have addressed all the drainage. Yes. Calculations. Yes, drainage time. calculations have been submitted and reviewed. And they do. Y'all do realize if you do decide to do the expansion later on. Yes, sir. Anything would require another site. Yes, sir. This, this doesn't approve that. Just approve what we got. Yes, sir. And the the reserve parcel is just to maintain it as it is. I mean, there's there's a, along Burntwood. There's a, I don't know if you can see it in any of these pictures, but there's a rock bluff. Yeah. Um, along there about three, four feet tall, right up against the curb. And we would have to blast and take out a row of trees, mature trees right behind it. So you're gonna and leave all that? Yes, there. sir. We wanna leave those trees where they are right now. Okay. This is right the right bluff right there. <coughs> on lot two. So we, we'd have to grade that back for a four foot sidewalk, two foot grass strip, and then grade that back up. So all those trees will be gone. We're trying to save those. Well, eventually you'll have to do it anyway. Right. Eventually, if something does come, they'll have to do that. But right, they want to keep it the way it is right now. Technical issues being addressed. 
Chairman, I make a motion to second as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do I hear a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Roll call. Aye. Aye. No. Aye. 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 Motion carried. Back plan, plan, plan. Next up, bonds and letters of credit. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you should have a bond sheet in front of you. Uh, basically, every everything is up to date. As you can see, uh, McFarland Point and Chelsea Estates Phase Two has their credits that will expire in December. I've uh, contacted the developer on those, and those will be extended. So everything will be up to date. Anyone else have a question? That being said and done, we'll call it meeting adjourned.